really beautiful out here. It's cool in October. Uh oh. Can you reach the top of the tire? I cannot. <laughs> Holy cow. Welcome back to No Stakes, No Bricks. Hey guys, this week's video, we do one last adventure with our friends Mike and Bernie before leaving Quartzsite and heading to Yuma Proving Ground. We do a motorcycle ride to the center of the earth. We got much, much more for you, so stick around. Here, Here we, we go. go. Well, we are back out at it, jeeping with our friends Mike and Bernie. We're off Plumosa Road, in the mountains behind Plumosa Road where everybody's boondocking. It's, it's really beautiful out here. What happened, babe? The cooler knocked over. Uh-oh. So like, leak a little bit of ice, but that's it's okay. just water. Just water. What are we must Speaking have hit, of water, we must have hit a little bump. We did hit a couple <laughs> few bumps. <laughs> a couple bumps. Okay. Well, you know. Hey. Jeeping. This is why you bring TP, right? All right. Got to do what you got to do. Yep. As long as we take it with us. All that I know. I guess I'll have to save this. There thing. is nothing worse than finding used toilet paper out in the middle of nowhere. So I'll just use this bag. Then it bring any little ones. Yeah, that'll work. Little baby Sorora. Little baby Sorora. That's pretty cool. Just a little guy. Check out what we just found out in the middle of the desert. We found a, an old boat that someone turned into, I guess, an RV or a home or something. That's pretty cool. So you got the stairs going up to the middle of it. It's pretty awesome. And there ain't nothing around here. We got I 10 right there. But that's pretty slick. Well, it's a travel day. We had a great time at the Quartzsite RV show. I don't know if we'll go back. I mean, it was okay. Um, it was great seeing everybody and hanging out with Bernie and Mike from Chasing Our Dreams and meeting a bunch of other YouTubers. That part was awesome. The show itself was, uh, it was okay. I guess, you know, after going to the Tampa RV show last year and then trying to compare it to that, there's no comparison. It's much smaller. Um, more like a big old flea market with, with a few RVs, but still worth attending. And um, it was just the weather. The, the wind just wouldn't stop. It was cold and uh, windy the whole time we were here. Kind of just ruined the whole experience, but we still made it work, still had a good time. So now we're off to the Yuma Proving Grounds, which is a army installation south of Quartzsite, about 60 miles. So short travel day today and uh, go get on base for a little bit, go to the hot commissary and get some groceries and restock, resupply and clean. Everything is so dusty and dirty from boot knocking the last two weeks. We got a lot of cleaning to do. Well, we're getting pretty close to the proving grounds. We're only about nine miles away. It looks like we got a decent fire up here. I'm not sure what's going on. It's crazy. Look so good. It's excellent. All right, we're on base and we're sitting outside of the uh, check-in. It's called Desert Breeze Travel Camp Campground. And um, so Jen's in there checking in and we're gonna be here for almost two weeks before we head back to Yuma. And we're gonna be in Yuma until mid-April for the rest of the winter, basically. So we actually really like Yuma. There's a lot of stuff to do around Yuma and uh, it's a heck of a lot cheaper than California. We'll be doing a 360 degree video of this military fam camp and I'll pop a card right there. But in the meantime, let me show you our site. We 
do have 50 amp service and full hookup site here at the Yuma Proving Grounds. Nice to be on a military installation again. We're close to the commissary. They do not have an exchange here, but they do have a shop at that is a gas station and it's a convenience store, that kind of thing. There's also a really large boondocking area um, just east or west of here, it looks like. We actually showed that to you in an earlier video and I'll pop a card right there. So today we're gonna go do a hike that's actually on the base. It's called the Holy Cross Trail. It's a 1.4 mile out and back trail. You do have to have base access to access this trail, but the reviews are good, so we're gonna go check it out. And bonus, we can walk right from our RV site to go hit the trail. Well, who's ready for a hike today? I am. Yeah, we've kind of been socked up here. We've been here about a week and again, the weather turned crappy. <laughs> it's been windy and cold. And, and then you were laid up with your back. Yeah, and... yeah. But today it's feeling better. It's a little tight and sore, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna suck it up, buttercup. Yes. I'm gonna embrace the sock. You should. So we're finally getting out and about and it's supposed to be beautiful today, 70 and sunny. Can you handle 70 and sunny with no wind? I can. Should we take the big boy with us? Yes, he'll probably love it. Do you think he might be anticipating this? I don't know, is he? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's not freaking out yet. But not he's... yet. Think Axel's excited? I think so. <laughs> One thing about staying at this uh, military installation is you definitely hear some large, loud booms when they're doing their training with heavy artillery. Oh yeah. <laughs> Enough to like vibrate the RV. Nothing bad though, I mean. It's pretty cool actually. Our neighbors were saying that you can see the paratroopers jumping out of aircraft every now and again, but we haven't seen that yet. We heard a bunch of coyotes last night though, right, right outside the fence, because our RV is back right up to the base property. and. There was a, a pack of coyotes just howling and screaming right out. Sounded like they're like coming into our RV. Yeah, it was a little nerve wracking when I'm out there with the littles. Yeah, got to keep an eye on those little pups. In Alaska, we had to watch out for eagles and here we got to watch out for coyotes. Before we hit the trailhead up, we're going to check out this behemoth. That thing is massive. Look at the size of these tires. Holy Can you reach the top of the tire? I cannot. <laughs> wow. Overland train. So this thing used to haul cargo in a train. It'd be like 12 different cars and it was used to haul cargo across, you know, like the desert, desert land. And it actually had crew quarters for six people to include like a little kitchen, restroom, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty impressive. And this was used in the 60s. It's kind of neat, uh, all along the base, there's like little workout stations. Should we do the army PT test, babe? You can go ahead and start it. What? I'll, I'll catch up. Leave me hanging? Yep. <laughs> Like snakes though? No. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> the knee does not like that. Are these the giant stairs again? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Axel has that not having any issues. <laughs> oh, baby. Axel, are you having fun? 
Are you having fun? Mule deal right over there. Look at that. We finally saw some wildlife, babe. Well, there's the cross up there. So we're almost there. I'm gonna get some water. Get Axel some water. Start to slow down. <laughs> Go. Go ahead, baby. <laughs> Up the hill we go. Feels good to get this heart rate up. We haven't done a hike in a while. No, we haven't. Woo. A lot of tripping hazards. Yeah, feels good. Well, not the tripping hazards. Definitely beautiful up here though. Good views. Time for some bassa. And there's the base down there, or the post. Let's see what we got in here. Hopefully it's not an unexploded ordinance. <laughs> oh, there's a pen. I wonder if we're supposed to write the visitors. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll have to write our names there. You ready for some water, baby? Huh? Running around like a crazy dog. Well, I gotta put water in it first. <laughs> Can't wait. No. <laughs> I think he's thirsty. Okay, I'm getting there. Holy cow. guys think of my new shirt my mom and dad got it for me for Christmas thanks mom and dad love you ready for a motorcycle ride Damn. finally got it's supposed to be 75 and sunny today it's absolutely beautiful we're about to take you to the center of the earth made it to the center of the earth. I don't know how they calculated that this was the center of the earth. I guess it depends on where you're at. <laughs> guess we'll find out more <laughs> once we get inside. Let's check it out. Hey you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> 10 bucks to get in. And they got a gift shop and a cafe. Sundial. That's pretty cool. It points to the church on the hill at Felicity. Oh. So the church is behind that pyramid on the other side. Sundial times vary from clock time. The correct local time of the sundial is set at noon on Christmas Day. So currently it says that it's noon, but it's a little.
with our foot right on this dot and face true north to be the church right in front of us. Yeah. And you make a wish. Center of the earth, by law. <laughs> cool. Hey, babe. You're the center of my earth. Aww. <laughs> of the Liberty Bell. See the light crack. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. You ready to climb these steps? Oh yeah. Doesn't look too bad. Ah. Forty-nine steps, not too bad. You're dropping clues. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. Dropping everything, cause you're stuck on my mind. My mind. So just sit with me. Talking to the night until the morning building can't mystery. I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Looks like there's a maze down there. We're gonna have to go check that out. So this place is pretty neat. It's just basically like a history of humanity. And it covers all kinds of different topics. It's like the good things about humanity and then like the bad things about humanity. Yeah. Like, and then all the stuff in between, it's pretty. Starting out at the theory of evolution all the way up to present day. But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think We were meant to be So this maze is definitely new There's really not a whole lot in here yet But looks like a place where you can puts people that you idolize or family members that have passed or whatever. I'm not really sure what the criteria is for putting stuff on this wall, but. Right, because the first part of the wall looks like all family members that have passed, like in Love and Memories, and then there's a couple pets, but then yeah. you have like Peyton Manning. Yeah, uh, Joe Montana stuff. and stuff, so. So, it's just kind of hodgepodge of whatever, I or guess. just maybe what people think, you know, for humanity. Excellent Influencers. Influencers, Like yeah. no sticks, no bricks. Mm. No? No. So we got certificates. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's see. see. Such a big hit that we were here. The Jennifer baby visit the pyramid and start the official center wow. of the world and that you did. Certified. That is pretty cool. Well, what do you think? Worth the 20 bucks to get in? I think so. There's a lot here. I mean, how often can you say you've been at the center of the world? Yeah, that. And then just like all the like the memorial thing, and then the whole Korean War, Forgotten War memorial. And yeah. All. So it's had the 
the church, the, the maze. The church, and then just all the stuff from humanity, like you said, like it's bad. Just kind of, you know, remind you. Yeah. How yeah. small. Yeah. It's a little snapshot in time that we have on this place. Exactly. We have one more thing to look at, though, and it's the original stairs to the Eiffel Tower. We've actually been up in the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Yeah, we didn't take any stairs though. Now we took an elevator. <laughs> it was so cool and so worth awesome. it. Awesome, so cool. It was beautiful. And then seeing it at night when it all lights up, mm -hmm. it's amazing. Our kids have been very well traveled. Yeah, they have. Young life. They were with us. Yep. Yep, all over Europe. Well, we hope you liked this week's video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, try that again well we hope you liked this week's video if you did please click the like button consider subscribing it really helps us out and don't forget to click the little bell so you're notified whenever we release new content and until next week guys safe travels